It's the same as last week, but hold on. I need to send a link. Hi, everybody. How are you tonight? Um, hold the wire. Hold the wire. Hold the wire. Hold the wire. What's going on? My name is Jenna. This is 1111 with Jenna. I'm here seven days, seven nights, 14 times a week. And tonight it's Monday. Monday night movie club. That's right. That's right. That's right. And I am just going to, hey, Carl, do a little action here. Edit the privacy, make it go public. That's done. And then I'm going to do a little extra note here. Uh, hi, 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 everybody. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do, do, do. Oh, hi, nice to meet you. Go away. Monday Night Movie Club, exclamation point. My phone, um, my, uh, what do you call it? My batter, my, um, my um, microphone is not working on my phone any longer. And I am just doing this and then I share the show do a couple little things here now. I share to a page and I share it to my Jenna Mamita page and I post it. There I go, there I go, there I go. And I'm just going to, I know you're waiting in the, trying to get the show. Carl, hey Mama Grace, hey William D. Okay, two people entering. Ladies and gentlemen, um, going to people and to ladies Bonnie Barker Woo! hello hi there hello how's it going Hey, Good. Girl. How are you? Doing well. Did you get your hair cut? Yes. You did? Wow, look at well, that. It's a little messy now, but yeah, I got some layers put in it. Nice. My daughter oh. came up Friday and did it. Oh, that's right. She does hair. Ladies and gentlemen. So we got to talk movie talk? Yeah. Stacey Mouse. My lighting is awfully green tonight. Hello, Stacy. Hi. Pause, pause, pause. I need to plug in my phone real quick. Hold on. Be right back. April, Stacy. Stacy, April. Hi, April. Hello. You live on South State Street, right? Or by Mitch? Yeah, across from Mitch. Okay, I live behind, I'm on Lake Boulevard, right behind Jenna. We share, we share the alley. We're, We're alley, share the alley. alley gals. <laughs> That's fun. How are you, everybody? And so do you. Hey, Suzanne, how's the boat? Hi, Jenna. Um, hi, Stacy and April. Hi, Suzanne. Hello, hello. I mean, I've never been to Michigan, but one day, maybe. One day. It's right beautiful. now, it's Arctic tundra. So cold. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> oh well, God. I'm in uh, the Northwest near British Columbia, and so it's not exactly sunny, you know. It's yeah, but I almost pretty... cried tonight when I went outside. Brilliant <laughs> 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 just looked at oh, me and God. like, I know, dude. I'm sorry. Jenna, that's your Italian side. My Italian friend, Alberto, 
would to cry. The, the photographer fashion. She gets so sad in the oh. winter. I well, mean, it's just, it's just, it's too cold. It's just too cold. Yeah, I know. But you kind of funny. mind it too much. You get used to it. Yeah. I like seasons. But I was April, I was more seeing that um, people who love the sun of different cultures, they actually get sad about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I yeah. get sad though if I don't have the seasonal change. You know, we lived in North Carolina for a while and, yeah. you know, it just, it was the same old, same old. No, I need change. Um, and that's what the poetry that we do, they talk about that a lot. Yeah, that was a yeah. poem last night. Thank you so much. I loved yeah. the poem. Um, what was it about the, the, was it the visitor? The, oh. oh, the guest. The yeah, guest. Um, Stacy, just um, I have Google, it right here. Google Beautiful. Guest House by Rumi. I'll send it to you right now. Yeah. I loved yeah. it. Thank you. I did too. Yeah. I wanted to get on, but my granddaughter stayed over the weekend, wore me out. So I, <laughs> I, cra I crashed. We got her home, and I think yeah. we got home about 9, 9 30 after taking her home, and I just crashed. Good for you. That's yeah. a good thing, though. So she's just she's just very busy. So. She's a she's a she's a hardcore girl. Yes, she is. She's she's got a lot of energy, but she's a strong girl. Yes. Um, so movies, April. Oh. You know what? What? I have to admit something with we oh God, I lost that sheet where I was writing them all down. <laughs> and, um, no, we haven't we watched one, one of them. Um yeah. I can't remember the name. We didn't watch the octopus one. Okay. We were gonna watch it tonight. Did you watch Tick Tick Boom? Yes, yes. that's what it was. <laughs> I thought that's the one we were gonna. We talk talked about. about three. We talked about three films, and that was yeah. the main one. And then there were two optionals. Tick Tick. The and one normally we would we watch a lot of shows or, or movies, but. I think this just, we were a little busy this week. We, we both took turns getting our booster shots, you know? So um, we had that and then Ava coming up Friday. We just, just didn't get the second one in and we were gonna try tonight when we got home and then our um, youngest daughter called. So, but tick, tick, boom, we did watch. Now and, April, and, let me ask you a quick question. Jenna and I went for our booster shots together and we both, after we received it, we could actually taste it in our mouth. Did you, could you wow. taste it? Yeah. Did that happen to you? <laughs> no, um, but it's funny. I, I was talking to my daughter-in-law about this. Okay, so cool, a cool sensation, like right mm. through here around mm. your eyes. Really? Right here. Mm. And then my lips kind of felt real cold. And, um, but then, and of course, you know, I got it at the Meyer pharmacy by the time I was done with it and that cooling passed, I thought, okay, I'm okay. I'm going to pick up a few things at the store while I'm there. And I did. And by the time I got to the checkouts, I was breaking a sweat. Wow. It's like a, a hot flash. And then of course, uh, I had a headache with this. I, you know, and I don't remember it's been what, six months since my other vaccines, but, um, Mike got his this past week and he had this, he was a little sicker than me. He, he really, um, he, he was cold and not feeling good. And I just could not get over the achies. My head hurt so bad. It was like right here, the back of my head. I, I just, nothing would help it. And you know, Jenna, with migraines, they're not fun. Um, I've had a, a few and, um, my but, yeah, it was just a constant heart. headache and then my joints hurt and then Ow. by Thursday it wasn't just joint it was like my muscles in my body every muscle oh. in my body hurt but no nothing with taste smell anything like that at all just that cooling oh. when you did, my eyes and mouth when you had it done did they have you did they monitor you afterwards this time um not not this time no the other ones they did, they made me 
said around and said, stay around here. There's a waiting room. But this time it was just like, okay, thanks. Bye. See ya. <laughs> but yeah, yeah it Same was it, the cooling sensation was just kind of weird. And, but my daughter-in-law said she got that too. Just around, I, she said it was weird. It was like around her eyes and her mouth. I taste it like I right away. I, when I did it the first time, I said to my brother, "Go, I can taste that." And they were all looking at me like, "Yeah." Were, Stacy and I gotta go. Did you, you, Michael? Did Michael, you taste, taste the it? vaccine like when you got the booster? No, he Looks didn't. A cool feeling, but I'm yeah, he said that cool feeling, and then, but then he was cold all night. I had to keep wow. piling blankets on him. <laughs> Jenna has this pure diet, so that's yeah, how it works. Pure, pure chocolate tonight. <laughs> I I will say, Stacy, that Canadian I was chocolate. a little surprised that I had any reaction with the booster. I, like like I did. I thought, oh, I probably would get something mild, but I really wasn't expecting to have anything because it was. I had the Moderna, and it was supposed to be half dose. Yeah, that's yeah, that is surprising that it hit you so bad. Yeah. Well, and I was telling Jenna, I did have um some sinus stuff going on and um right. when I you thought died. I had a sinus infection. Yeah. So maybe, you know, exacerbated. <laughs> well, at least you're okay now. So that part's good. Yeah. I I just don't think I'm gonna keep getting a booster <laughs> just I don't know if I'm going to get this sick every time I've always gotten a flu shot and I never get sick so never had well, a flu shot I'll tell Neither you what I've been busy doing this week watching Ozark <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh we checked that out <laughs> that's a dark show Jenna. oh is my that, god is that Jason yeah. or, is that yeah, Jason good Bateman? Grace didn't feel anything with the with any of the vaccines. Grace is like, got her vaccine. She goes, you want to go to the casino? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but um, that's so that's New Mexican, Jenna, to want to go to the casino. Want to go to the casino? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, you know, in New Mexico, they've got them all over the place. We did watch a really crazy show. What's it called? The Woman. Oh, the, the woman the across the street. The window. In the window. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, I put yeah. that on my save list. So we yeah. should talk about the movies from this past week and then talk about maybe. Well, if you I haven't did seen put that. It my watch list. <laughs> Is that well, one confusing? I think I've seen it oh, interesting. Week. Euphoria. I haven't seen Euphoria either. You, Nicholas says Euphoria has been a wild ride this week. Wouldn't watch it with young kids around. Well, it's, yeah. it's, it's about it's okay. teenagers. Uh, yeah. Have any of you seen, and then I'll, we can move on, um, with Melissa McCarthy, uh, Starling. I oh, really yes. want to, yeah. I want to recommend that. mentioned that a long time ago and I watched that. That's yeah. such a No, movie. it's new. It's pretty well, new, April. It's been out a while. That's a cuckoo movie. I liked it. Oh, it's great. It's great. Starling. It. I'll watch that. The Starling. Yeah, check that one out for sure. The starling, I like that she one. Walks, yeah, my favorite I would is love when to. she just goes berserk over those birds. That bird. <laughs> when she Have you seen it, that commercial? Like, oh. Where the what are the what's that bird game called? Crazy angry bird. bird. Angry, angry bird. Have you seen that commercial with the angry bird? No, but yeah. it's my These word. Go, here. We're sitting in our new house tonight, and <laughs> angry birds. <laughs> I don't know. I saw some. I don't, I don't know if any of you around our house, Family Feud is sort of yeah. an ongoing show that's on. Yeah. Definitely family Feud's on at 10. Tonight, it was so classic. So classic. Why? Let me try to remember. Steve, the question was, we asked 100 men what they would love for their wife to have on when they answer the door. Nothing. And the first one, you know, was nothing. <laughs> French made outfit. Towel, schoolgirl, um, a one a schoolgirl, <laughs> towel, and then um, French maid. What was the other? And then, and then he gets to this guy on the end. And then there's like the, you know, there's the husband and the wife and the brother and the brother and then the cousin. And the cousin is this big, gorgeous, strapping young man. Like he was probably thirty-one and just was like all 
all that. And Steve looks up at him and he's like, look at this strapping man. Look at handsome man. You, do you, um, and he said, are you, are you married? And he said, yes. And he goes, well, what would your wife, what would you like your wife to have on? He said, well, I'd like to have my husband. <laughs> And Steve Thank you press. very much. I was going to try to say, yeah. the Kajo foe. Yeah, That's completely. Oh, he was on. Yeah, he couldn't even that talk. House boy with the yeah. who couldn't wore the maids. And, <laughs> and then, his, and then his answer was he wanted him to be wearing an a um a, oh. a sports oh uniform a uniform yeah so. Anyway, go yeah, into that to be oh, Carl's wife likes Angry Birds. So, um, you that saw Tick, great. Tick, Boom. Did you see Tick, Tick, Boom, Suzanne? You made me do it, <laughs> and I did it. Stacy, okay. Um, you know, I mean, I <laughs> Stacy, love- you made her do it. <laughs> I know. He, wait till wait till this <laughs> is We're gonna to make you watch. He he was a little odd. The the main character. He was a little. Oh, odd. you should have seen the real main character. No, yeah, I mean that's what Mike said. He he yeah. knew something of the one um, musical. Was it Rent? Yeah, yeah, he wrote Rent. Yeah, and he had heard but of it and stuff. And he said the guy that. is just really yeah. an odd character. Genius, genius. Yeah, my I, I had a little trouble following it. A little bit of. Well, See, I, was, I lived in New York at that time period, so it was. I felt like I was back with you know my people. Oh, yes, and yeah. that's what I. That's what drew it me. It really to, gave you that yeah, feeling, right, yeah. Suzanne? Yes, um, like the I, San Francisco feeling, the New when, York feeling in the nineties when yeah, everything was just city. Um, in nineteen sixty six, eighteen years old on a fantasy. Yeah trip with the rich aunt who lived on Sutton Place. She had escorts lined up for me. I looked really good in those days. <laughs> anyway, oh, did we all? One of the escorts was a guy like that that wrote music for Broadway shows. And so I was going, wow, Peter. His name is Peter. Um but yes, 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 Jenna. That's why I watched it. But they kind of lost me in the beginning. But yeah. when I, I yeah. meet you in the very beginning, I even told Stacy, yeah. I go, I'm not at the very yeah. the first 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I'm like, yeah, let's move on. Um, but I did, you know, I've stayed in apartments in New York that were like that. <laughs> when, uh, years ago, what? You know, with roaches in the shower. And I had a bathtub in my kitchen. Pod. Yeah. And I shared a toilet yeah. with other people next door. I mean, it's not a huge. So you're going to make me have nightmares. Dude, I used to live in a closet. Yeah. I lived well, that, in a closet. Yeah. That's, I also lived in a box. Bath, like, was the bathroom in the hall or what? Like, yeah. No, what? my bedroom was a closet in a bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. So Jenna was. But what about the bathroom? You said you had to share. Oh, the bath, the toilet was um, a toilet. There was a door on either side and the people next door and I shared the toilet. Oh, okay. (laughs) I thought you meant like out in the open. I was like, oh, that gives me nightmares. April, people will do anything to live in New York. You live in New York. You live in the village. That's how you live. Yeah. I mean, you. This is like. Oh, I've seen some of that, you know, in the movies where they. It's so expensive to live there, and except on Friends, you know, Friends they'd, they'd oh, oh yeah, have huge yeah. apartments for, and they were she waitressed at a coffee. Well, shop. that was I mean, I real. I don't recall Wasn't ever that, seeing anything that, yeah. big. Not that big. I've been in warehouse spaces, but I enjoyed Tick Tick Boom, but it, it did take me a minute to get into it. Yeah, me too. I, I will yeah. agree with that. Yeah, but it I did, did like. I like I loved it. I was the opposite. My husband watched it with me. He said, "You recommended this," <laughs> but I said, "Yeah." I, but I you thought know what? Stacy recommended it. She did. I, I yeah, did. Yeah, Stacy. So yeah. It was. But, you it, know, was the, it was. It was good. Thing, Stacy, if I can just say, and then I want to hear your. And then what? You're going to be quiet, Suzanne? Come on. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Come on. All right, you can mute me. 
<laughs> but um, you know, I'm doing musicals in movies. Yeah. is a challenge. That is, it is. Uh, it's better to watch theater. Um, though there were great successes when I was a child with Oklahoma, The King and I, you know. Uh, but you doing Jesus Christ Superstar, uh, doing hair, doing any of these things in film rather than on the stage. I mean, that's an interesting topic. Do you it agree? Is. Yeah. Well, yeah. What, what do you mean? Well, it's just- I was answering a, a message. It's challenging to, to do create. musicals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it was a musical and a musical. Oh. To me, you know, yeah. can you imagine Stephen Sondheim deciding to come and come check out your, yeah. your little play? But I wanted to hear Stacy's response, Jim. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Sorry. I'm I, commentating. It was really, I think that the, I mean, it did take a bit to get into, but the main character did an absolutely excellent job because it took me into his perspective and yeah. it kind of took the viewer, you know, and kind of transformed us. And it was just really amazing as far as what yep. it takes and the creativity to to write a musical oh my and god yeah. i mean and i think that the main character did such a good job because i was able to really get into his head and we were just my husband and i were just wow you know we you just don't think about things like that you go we love musicals my husband does local mm. community theater and oh, you know okay. we enjoy yeah. it yeah but you would you don't really think about the background and the struggles and no i mean and the yeah. people that write the music we rarely know their names we used to know the famous names uh long before any of us were old enough to know we knew their names rogers and hammerstein uh mm -hmm. irving berlin you know all these people that Stephen Sondheim, but now we don't, you know, now we don't yeah, recognize. Yeah, now we don't. Today they said the most, um, what was it? The most influential musician right now is Rihanna. I'm like, yeah. Oh, no, come on. Yeah, yeah. Today it came mm. out. I don't well, know about the, that. I don't either. But it was on NPR. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I read it. I no. read it on, on the internet. But there's well, little as an known artist, people. see a lot of this. But what watching? Don't movie, believe everything you read on the internet. <laughs> this yeah. movie itself, Tick Tick Boom. I I had friends that were in that world. I mean, not in that world, but lived in that apartment in that actual apartment. Yes. And oh, I've, wow. I've, I've that lived, same apartment. Yeah, I've lived that <laughs> life. So me yeah. watching that, I'm like, yeah, I get this. This is part yeah. of. How grew up it's not it's not surprising to me but that's what we go through to make well, the art that we do dreams versus reality that's what it came down to me and yeah. he 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 chose his dreams and yes but no yeah, it, it's not even but the thing is stacy it does it chooses us yeah no i get yeah. that you uh, know what's yeah. kind of cool yeah. about that is that it also um focused on AIDS. And well, that's what I wanted to say, because I mean, and then I looked at the, because uh, I wanted to know what year they were portraying, because, yeah. you know, I lived in San Francisco and was very involved in gay rights in the late 70s and 80s. And so I was in the heart of the AIDS thing. And but so 1990, when it was still a problem, but there he is with that old childhood friend. So that changed the whole movie after it that. It did. It really yeah. brought, I mean, yeah. light. And I mean, it was a death yeah. sentence back then. And when you look at the way, and maybe I'm naive, but I think that as a whole, society has completely at least I hope so. Maybe this is idealistic of me, but it's changed their views 
Um, and we've come so, we haven't come far enough, but we have come so far and it was a death sentence. And so, and think of all the people that, yeah, you know, were lost and friends. I don't suffering. have to think of all the people. You lost your brother. I've oh. had not just my brother, but dear friends into the hundreds. So it was like being in World War II. If you were living in San Francisco and involved in gay rights, we read the paper every day. We read the obituaries to see who had died. So That's we're awesome. not talking, we're saying a death sentence in 83. That's when my brother got it. So by 90, when this was written, they were already getting into newer things. But um, yeah, I mean, I just, I didn't want to talk about that subject, but I just wanted to say that, of course, it brought me to tears that I'm moment. Sorry. But when you, no, when I was watching the film, but I mean, when you, to have his dear friend, when he was so driven to write his music and do his thing, and then the realization that this is more important, that I be with this man because he's dying. So that's what moved me. I really got a, um, a, a yeah. confirmation too when he was in his apartment and it was a mess yeah and, oh, yeah. and he, had, he had he had to write that song but before he wrote the song he cleaned everything <laughs> <laughs> i do that i'll be like okay i have to i have to finish this song but i think i'm gonna go reorganize my my living room right now because well, it, it helps you think get that helps, sense of order out. first it's avoidance but it's also a need yeah to clear things when you work because I'm a writer and a And when you work for yourself, that you have that. Yeah, you mm -hmm. gotta clear things away. Clear yeah. the cobwebs. But his, yeah. that was pretty, My I've never let my kitchen get that bad. Just an honest <laughs> idea. <laughs> that was scary. Well. So I'm glad that you, uh, that everybody watched it. And I think um, um, William said he watched My Octopus Teacher. And um, that is. Where is everybody, Jenna? I saw my octopus teacher it was life changing event. Is oh, what we yeah, it was great. I still want to watch that. Oh, great. and the new season of South Park starts on Wednesday. But I was hoping to um, talk about romantic comedies as an idea for the theme oh. next week. And Stacy had brought up a film last week that none of us had heard of, and literally today, I I stumbled upon it too. Since you picked last week's and it was such a great success, do you want to go? Oh, yeah. Want to suggest? We can all suggest, but this I is. I say nice. Starling, please. Starling. It is comedy and romantic, but it's, I, I can't explain it. I, I don't want to. It sounds like lots of me. Oh, you liked, and, William, you liked Bohemian Rhapsody? That's a brilliant movie. Brilliant. Yes. Yeah, that yeah. was. Brilliant film. I don't want to go through that again. <laughs> that was sad. <laughs> that, was sad. <laughs> that was. He did a what? He was incredible. Well, he won a lot of awards for that. Yeah. But um, the movie, yeah. I what I thought of a couple about? of rom coms that I really like a lot that are on um, Netflix right now, and one of them is called, and I typed it into my own notes so I wouldn't forget, but maybe I never did. Mm -hmm. Do you want me um, to look at my text? Oh, that's what rom com means. I didn't know. Romantic never... comedy. Now I get it. Uh, well, and you're then for that, Jenna, we were talking about like favorite. We just throw things out there, right. and uh, I said, "Okay, favorite rom com." Then we went favorite um, animated movie. I think I chose um, Nightmare Before Christmas, and but Ratatouille. Ratatouille. So, I know. No, I love great. those sisters. Remember those funny sisters? Uh, yeah, they were like it British. Kind yeah, of. those. What was that called? <laughs> what you're talking about? What in the? Hell? I used to go to the animation film festival. 
And my brother and I would, you know, get sorted yeah. before we went in and eat Chinese food and watch animated film festivals. I love Ratatouille. Um, but Janet, what was the name of that one with this? I can't remember the something sisters. Yeah. William, do you know? The movie, so then I, I was, we were talking about different types of movies and I hadn't realized it, but there are a lot of, the movie that I liked as a romantic comedy that's on Netflix right now is called About Time. Oh. I'm that. And what? it's a time traveling movie. Oh. And when I looked it up, it even, in this one um, part on, on, the, on the internet, said the 20 top time traveling movies so i thought another con another concept would be sometime we could pick a time traveling movie because there's a lot of there's them so like many the time traveler's wife and yeah but yeah this movie about yeah. time it was really good and that's that was my romantic well, comedy you know suggestion. it's really diff i have to say that as a really big film connoisseur or eater of films, uh, watcher of films, we cannot hold a candle to the 30s and 40s. Things mm -hmm. like Claudette Colbert and Clark Gable and It Happened One Night. And, you know, I mean, Cary Grant and Catherine Hepburn in Doris Day. The movie yeah, about, any of that. Well, that's, they're, not, they're not on. That's the problem. A lot of yeah. those are not on Netflix. I'm still trying to just no, yeah. things that are on Netflix because but we I happened I happened into one um, that I watched you go Sandra Bullock and Ben Affleck uh, Affleck um, something forces yeah the forces of oh, nature, 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 or nature. Yeah. Yeah. and it was really sort of cool and I it was the second time I watched they had it. good chemistry together yeah but it's not one of those happy. I ends. love her. I have. So, I just love. He her. is a great comedian, and she's shown her chops on this last movie. Oh, the one on Netflix. Yeah, uh, that as a serious actress. Yeah, that's and you'll see, you'll see that Melissa McCart. She's showing her chops. On In Starling. Star yeah, yeah check her. that movie out. I suggest. I I I really like Starling a lot. Oh, did I mean, you? I, seen it? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was a different character for her, for Melissa. Oh, you guys have seen it. Okay. Yeah. I haven't seen it, but I don't think what? anybody else has. So, is it Starling or is it the Starling? Is it Starling? Well, you just Google Starling. It'll Starling. I'm just putting it into a into our. Um, it's probably the Starling. Yeah. yeah. And about time, I loved about time. So Netflix does not show older. Sometimes films. they do, they yeah. do, but their um, their rom com is you know and that's the thing that I lose a little interest in it too. Sometimes is the the romantic comedies that I've seen on there lately. They're younger people with that thing, and I just go, I don't really want to watch that. Yeah, that's how I am. Yeah. It's like. But, yeah, I. But yeah, we were talking I about. Our I know favorite. exactly what you mean without saying. Yeah, no depth. Stacy, what's your favorite favorite. romantic comedy? Well, I I came up with a childhood classic, and that was The Princess Bride, because oh, you know who doesn't love it? That yes. was good. Yeah, yeah. I I, I thought you know, it was I was having a bum day today, and I'm trying to think. Stacy so was that Anne Hathaway? Yeah. What's that? Was that Anne Hathaway? No, it was Robin Wright Penn. Right. Oh. Hotty, hot, hot. But I remember when Anne Hathaway goes to college in Wisconsin and some prince uh, goes. Oh, right. She, he actually is a prince, right? <laughs> Yeah. And there you are in Wisconsin. This guy didn't know. He was from Europe. He had his right. place. Yeah. So have you never seen The Princess Bride, Suzanne? Oh, I must have, but maybe I have to see it again. Yeah. Oh, and it's got um uh oh, Mandy Patinkin is in it and 
the oh, one from Taxi Driver. Uh, or you know who I'm talking about? Was Robert it De Niro? No, no, the woman. Or maybe oh, it was, I thought you said Taxi Driver. <laughs> it was it called Taxi? Not the movie, but the, the show, show. Taxi. 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 What was the oh. lady? Mary, Mary Lou Henner. Remember Mayor, but didn't they, they couldn't pronounce their words, Mary, or marriage, <laughs> marriage. <laughs> Remember? The characters marriage. were really good. At Billy that. Crystal. Yep. It was Billy Crystal, Billy Crystal. And then I'm trying to, I can't think of the woman, but they were, I they, I, they reminded me of cave people. And it's been a while that <sighs> were like troll-like. Is that your recollection, Jenna? <laughs> Yeah, I just can't think of the character. But it was Billy here, Crystal, and then freak, I can't freak, think of the freak. woman. Freak. And then the guy, you killed my father. I my name. My <laughs> and then the giant, the guy. And yeah, Andre the giant. I know. So you can't go wrong with that. But that's It really not, is great. It is a great movie. Seen it a million times. <laughs> the so Rock really, yeah. What did you watch today? I'm trying Ooh, to find it. I'm, I can't remember. Something about single love or something like that. Have you ever seen Bridesmaids? Yes. Yeah. Like, you love it? Yes. yes. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of Melissa, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, funny. Melissa. Melissa's great. And do you know that she's married to the guy? You that, know. That, that guy in the film in Bridesmaids that she falls in love with? Oh, really? Is that how yeah. Her husband in real life. Yeah. Wow. I liked her in White Lotus too. Oh, she in White Lotus? Or am I thinking Nine Perfect Strangers? I mean, Nine Perfect Nine Strangers. Strangers. I'm getting my, I've seen so many. They're, They're kind all of similar. Yeah. Yeah. They came yeah. out at the same time. I wish yeah. I had the Netflix schedule in front of me. Oh, did you see White Lotus? Did it, Suzanne, did you see White Lotus? Well, wait, remind me. Oh, you mean with, uh, with what's her name? Uh, the spa out and yeah. yeah oh yeah i you know i'm pretty have my ear to the ground on that i watched that you turned as, me on to that i think as soon as it came on i watched it I she was it. she was a little evil in that yeah that was a trippy thing wasn't it jenna yeah that, i watched the directors did you did you watch the director's conversations after the show after each no uh, but, yeah uh, if you haven't seen that, April, that's on HBO, I think. Which right. is there? White um, Love. White, White Love. Oh, we don't have the but HBO anymore. The characters were so interesting. In I mean, they, they went there for therapeutic help. Black. Yeah. I like um, yeah. the mother-in-law, the one that shows up. At what the, was the name of it? White Lotus. White I White. study at a yoga retreat center in Santa Barbara called White Lotus that I always, I got a kick out of when they called that Be White Lotus. Be careful of those retreats. <laughs> oh, this you was, never... I've been to, um, I've spent three I'm months of my it. life in this place at separate times, total three months. Yeah. Sun yeah. Valley, to Suzanne's point, I love Sun Valley Serenade, a Glenn Miller. Sun, Sun Valley Serenade, 1945, Glenn Miller. Hi, Rob Morocco. Rob Morocco. <laughs> yeah, do that again, Suzanne. You do it so, so well. So oh, the, the different, um, I, it just came to me because I, I had a lazy morning and because um, I slept in today, but it was called Single All the Way. It was kind of a Christmas movie. Yeah. And, and I know you were, you were oh, talking like about Single favorites. All the Way, but Single All the Way. Yeah, it was <laughs> Single All the Way. And yeah. it's, it's a romantic it's comedy. Good. It's pretty funny, but it's a feel good. But it is actually about two gay guys that are just oh, best I think friends. I've seen and, that. and he he actually talks them in. He's his roommate. He talks them into going with him to, you know, because everybody's like, oh, family Christmases, you know. April. You want to be there, but you don't. Flick. <laughs> so, uh, is it a porno flick? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Sorry. I do like say anything. Nicholas's favorite is say anything. That's that's about as good as it gets, too. No, all right, April. So they have to go to the family at Christmas. Is single all the way. Yeah. Is that on? Is yeah. that on Netflix? Yes. Okay. I so single all the way. It was, okay. It 
it was surprising because, you know, I mean, you know, if you, if you come with the times, you know, yeah. And, um, but it, the, the cast, I can't even think of the names in it, but it's, you, you know, most of the cast, it's even, um, one of his, the main character's sisters is that girl from Shits Creek. Rosalind oh. from Shits Creek is in it. You oh. mean the daughter? A little, a little, a little bit of Alexis. <laughs> A little bit of Alexis. My niece it reminds me so much of her. Sometimes it's hard to. Yeah, it's Alexis. not her. It's that Rosalind. Um, oh, it's Rosalind, like the friend. The daughter. That yeah, she's the daughter of the daughter uh, of the uh, of I the guy. Think his name. Of the name no, no, I mean, dad. the cast is is like every you know, you know most of the cast, yeah. and I mean. It could be a little hallmarky, but it just, it was funny in parts and just getting with the times. I just felt, you know, everybody needs somebody to love and it just, it ended with a feel good, you know, that's all I want to say. Cool. We watch so. Golden Girls at night, speaking of Hallmark Channel. That's all. <laughs> My mother, when she was in her nineties, uh, before she passed away, uh, I took care of my mom the last few years of her life. And she was a total film freak, foreign films. I mean, she's the one that turned me on to becoming a film freak. And she took four newspapers and used to watch CNN. But in the end, all she watched was Golden Girls and Frasier. Because it, that's how it is. It's Golden Girls and then Frasier right afterwards. It's two hours of Golden Girls and then Frasier. Yeah. Yeah. Frasier hasn't thought, gotten well, into Frasier yet. Have I, love, I think Frasier was brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> so when she'd refuse and say, I don't need you to give me a shower. I haven't done anything. And I went, you know, it's off to Sunnybrook Farm for you, Mom. You've, <laughs> I've taken care of you and you've got to have a shower. Hey, Patty. Hi, Patty. Are you coming on tomorrow morning? Just checking. Just checking. Why and, would it what? It's no, I asked Pat. Patty just jumped on and I just wanted to see if she was coming on tomorrow. Oh, Patty for cooking. Yeah. Patty for cooking. And um, just to remind you guys, tomorrow night, Andrew, if Patty's going to be here tomorrow, Andrew tomorrow night, Wednesday morning, we'll see. Wednesday oh, night. You could do a snow, a snow plow. We could do a, yeah, we could interview you with snow plowing the, the alley. <laughs> 11, 11 on Wednesday morning, because we're supposed to get a bunch of snow. Thursday night, I have someone and my brain's not working. But um, Saturday, Sunday morning, my friend Leanne, Ma Leanne Mackie Bartz, the, um, the nurse. nurse, is coming back. And she has, cool. she's going to talk all about urinary incontinence. And I know it's, it's, it's like, it's you know, sore talk about it, right? You're Old enough to get there yet, you guys. But she, but We're that's alerted to guys now. <laughs> her specialty is uh, is an incontinence and um, urinary, oh, and so, uh, yeah. So that's what's happening on Sunday morning. But someone's yeah. here Thursday night. Who the heck is it? I can't remember. I need to start I writing know, it down. dinner party. And you need a handy dandy oh, notebook. That's yeah. right. Um, I have a notebook, but it's filled. I need a new one. Um. Patty is flying to Florida tomorrow morning, so she'll be talking from the airport. Oh. She's packing right now. Okay, cool. so Stacey, do you want to talk about this other film that you talked about last week that I think might be fun for this week? I, I can't even remember what it is. Jenny. You know what? I, I, I found my notes while my we mind. were talking. It's the, called um, the dark. No, it's about. Well, oh, there was the Dupont devil we know oh that's not on the netflix remember oh okay that's not on netflix but this one is it's called tinder oh the tinder i was kidding i was totally joking about it what was Hi. it the tinder i it's it was a little everyone was kind of passionate last week so i just happened to look and it said the tinder i can't even remember yeah, tinder. tinder something Talking. yeah it's it was a, a joke. Movie. Okay. But we could watch it. I mean, I'm just going to watch it because, you know, I made a well, joke about it. The, the romantic comedy that I suggest, Starling is one. 
that um, Suzanne likes and um, about time. They're both on Netflix and this Tinder movie. What was it called? It's a doc. I think it's a. It's a documentary about. It's about called the, the guy, Tinder Swindler. The Tinder Swindler. That's it. Tinder Swindler. Oh, okay. All right. Catchy, catchy name. And Who's that? It's a documentary about oh. this guy on Tinder who basically bamboozled different women out of money. I believe that was oh, the that gist. Like the dating sites. Yeah. 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 That's oh, Tinder, there's Bumble. I know the Tinder swindler. I I tried those things for a minute. Well, try this documentary, Susanna, because it's a tin it's a documentary and it's very, you know, it's um the Tinder swindler. Smart. Am I ordered to do that? Okay. I, think, I think that you <laughs> ordered her to do it. No, I'm suggesting it to you because you watch so many films that I'm curious what your thoughts would be about this particular yeah. one. Okay. I haven't seen it yet. It's not even out yet. It's out tomorrow or to Wednesday. It may be horrible. We don't know. The it Tinder just has Swindler. A name. I know. The I'm Tinder so Swindler. in the Gilded an, Age. If you guys, the Gilded Age on HBO. I haven't seen it yet, but I want to. How is oh, it? Oh, God. Uh, Meryl Streep's daughter is the star. Ooh. But it's about the time in New York, Philadelphia, wherever they of that time of America, the Gilded Age. Um, I guess it's early 1900s, late. It was an age of extravagance uh, and yeah, and snobbery. clothing. Yeah, but uh, so it's beautiful. It, it's done by the guy that did uh, Downton Abbey. That's right. So the costuming and the, you know, I love all that. Thank you, William. <laughs> William just posted the about time. Um, oh. took a short break. See you tomorrow. Bye, Patty. Um, April, what about you for a, a movie on Netflix? Was that the one, the one you suggested? What's it called? Well, we, Single when all the you way? said romantic comedy, that yeah. just happened to be one I thought of. Um, Single all the way. Single all the way. Because most of them, I mean, I had... I was curious about that fatherhood with Kevin Hart, but that's not, I don't think that's really a romantic well, I, comedy. It, it would be, but it's kind of sad because I think his wife died giving birth to their child and then he has to raise her alone. So My mom and I watched a really good one last night with Sarah Jessica Parker, but tonight was the last night that it was on. Oh. So I didn't want to suggest it. Yeah. And we couldn't remember the name of it because then we just went and cracked out on more Ozark <laughs> after that. But but most of what I I mean it was just things I was you know there's a lot you could I spend most of my time scanning and maybe watching a clip you know like the trailer or on Netflix you know how you'll scroll if you you hover on it a while it'll kind of give you a little clip of it yeah. and I mean you could spend hours doing that so. Um, and I was just trying to get a variety, but and then your romantic. brain. There's so many romantic comedies, but and that's what I watch a lot of. But I can't think of any right now. But the you have one. Single all the way. Yeah, single Oops. all the way. And I mean, like I said, it's it might be different for some people, but you know, hey. Well, I consider bridesmaids. Uh, have romantic. you never seen it? I've seen um, that's uh, a romantic comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm doing, right? We're all <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but what? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about when she goes like that in the movie? Oh yes, yeah, yeah. The only thing you're talking bridesmaids, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was so funny. I've got to watch that again now. Just to laugh. Is it on Netflix, bridesmaids? I don't think so. Oh, I'll have to watch it again. You know, sometimes you watch so many, they start blurring, but that was a great one. Was it? Bridesmaids, and then they did one wine country that was really funny too. But Bridesmaids, those two together are just. No, but I love the one where Melissa and Sandra Bullock were cops. That was a good one. I do too. That was good. What was the one with Tina Fey when she was a journalist and they were over in the Middle East? Do you, what it was. Uh, uh, 
Oh, yeah. That was a great movie. That's a great movie. Yeah, With Bridesmaid the- is on Netflix right now, apparently. Tina Fey and who else? Did I say? Oh, that's I a really recall, good movie. It was, it was a great movie. They were in the Middle East. She's a journalist. And I think if there's a little bit of romance, if I'm remembering correctly, what uh-huh. was it called? Oh, Tina Fey. It's going to drive me crazy. Are you looking it up, Jenna? Yeah. It's like had three words. It has three that words. That was a scary. That whiskey was, tango foxtrot. Yeah. See. Whiskey oh wow. Yeah. Have yeah. you seen? Have you seen that, Suzanne? I don't think I have. Watch it. <laughs> and you'll it, love it. Well, Where is it watch like whiskey a take off? Is it a takeoff on? You know, all the other movies that have been done mostly. No, it's just, no. Oh my gosh. Has anybody seen Holiday? I'm I'm sitting here searching on Netflix. Holiday was hilarious. And it's a romantic comedy, but it's hilarious. You can watch it on YouTube, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. You can watch okay. it on Amazon Prime. Okay. It's a great I, movie. I will watch. Trying to find. Is it humorous? Yeah, it is. It's, it's, yeah, it's real. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a true real. story. Wow. Well, uh, um, April, you're talking about Holiday. That was originally done with Catherine Hepburn and Cary Grant. Are you serious? Yeah. You mean, is that Holiday, the one with... Uh... Re- remember that there's a lot of remakes. Well, somebody Google right now holiday Catherine Hepburn and you'll see that that was the original and sometimes they've done remakes so I wonder who was in your remake April maybe it wasn't the same no it's a yeah it's Catherine Hepburn I'm trying to find one that I just watched recently it was really good is that the one uh, um, April are you talking about the one where the women switch Places no, um, holiday. The guys, February 1st, just thought I'd throw that out there. Thank you. Yeah, oh, happy February. Wait, happy you have first. to say what is it? Uh, you have you white, rabbit, white rabbit, white rabbit, white rabbit. I would feel yeah. weird about February, it's such a short month. What's and then the have- white rabbit, white rabbit. I think you say that it's supposed to be when you wake up, but whatever. Oh, cool. So if I sleep right now, I just go white rabbit, white rabbit. And is it going to make my February that much better? Supposed to bring you money. I don't know. White rabbit. That's a good song. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that holiday is still on, but it's where she gets fed up with being single. And, and the guy's kind of like that too. And she's got one of these crazy aunts that... She, she played in on another I movie. love yeah. being a crazy Jenna aunt. Or something. And she and she's like the crazy aunt, and she's like, "Well, you just need to get you a holiday." And and they like, "What's a holiday?" She goes, "So whenever you have a holiday event, you just get oh, you just yeah. pick somebody, you have a date." You. And she goes, "A date." And so this guy that she met, and then you know, I don't want to kill the plot, but it's is it on? Is it on Netflix? <laughs> yes, I just checked Party. to make sure, <laughs> and but I just have to laugh because they're. I will just quote one thing that Mike loves saying and it's it's a part in the movie and it's just she doesn't want to be the girl who shits herself and they were at like a party and she ate something bad on one of her holidays and but she, she keeps getting this guy that she met they agreed to be each other's holiday for the year for every holiday where her aunt just kind of like she found a mall Santa Claus and he was her holiday. That kind it's it is super funny. So holiday. if you want romantic comedy, it's got both, but it's okay. oh, I sweet. laughed hard. I laughed really hard, especially <sighs> <sighs> did you say she shits herself? <laughs> yeah, there's a part where she I think they had Mexican food or some bath food and they go. They're, oh. they're out on one of their holidays and she has to get home and she I, maybe it's Halloween because she's in a costume and she's telling the guy, you gotta help me, gotta help me get out of this. And and she said, I just don't want to be the girl who shits herself on Halloween or something like that. <laughs> oh. 
Well, it reminded me there were these pills called Ally, and it was some. They still sell them. I can't believe it. What? You take them, and if you eat something fattening, you what? literally. This is Who gross. Sorry, you 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 shit. You you would do shit yourself. Do you remember? Does anyone know that? <laughs> the pot, the thing oh. of that fat. It was called Olestra, and they That's put it, it in potato chips and stuff. Yeah, and it would Olestra. Yeah, Talk so hugs to yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> but Al, kind of are. There's <laughs> nobody left on the show watching the show at this point. Oh no, we're, no. There's we're, there. We're, no, we're, actually, we're, there are eight people watching the show right now. So. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I will say on holidays, um, my girls kind of told us about it and we did watch. And, you know, for the guys that are still on, if there's any guys, my husband laughed so hard that he had to keep pausing it, pausing the. That's the how I am with bridesmaids. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's, you know, when something catches you off guard, like that line. And so I won't even, you know, when it comes, you know, it just catches you so off guard and he would have to pause it. And then of course, rewind it, play it again, you know, so that it's, it's pretty funny. What's it called? Holiday. Holiday. H-O-L-I-D. Okay, Gracie, we'll watch Holiday tomorrow. Oh, Holiday. <laughs> yeah. Like holiday. holiday. So you have a date for. I used to be a beard. Like, in for other words, I went to you all his Christmas parties with his family he was gay and he didn't his parents didn't know it so i would go to the parties with him that's kind of like that uh the yep. the single all the way is kind of like that he oh, just yeah i did that he's going years. home and because he's always single he never has somebody and so his roommate and they're both gay but it's his roommate but they're just friends right and they go home for the holidays and his crazy family but holiday is Another one of those situations where she dreads going home for the holidays because she's always single and her aunt says, you need a holiday. And she's, she's, oh my God, I can't even think. Is it Kristen Chen something Chenoweth? Or, mm -hmm. you Did you hear that Lillian? little lady? That she has that annoying voice kind of? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Chenoweth. And, and <laughs> she's the aunt who says, honey, you just need to get you a holiday. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, Bonnie told us to clean it up, ladies. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Bonnie. It was Lester. We had potato chips with Lester in it. Yeah. yeah. I, that was Ale. I'm like, of course I bought them. And then I had, I'm like, I wonder if it really does anything. I'm Did it? Eat. Oh, it was. I don't want to be was, that girl that finds out, though. <laughs> oh, no. I, but, you know, I thought, well, let's try it. Yeah, no definitely would not recommend especially if on a date but it was just my husband or the day so. of the date yes no definitely AC, not. you'd be a great stand-up comic i've been telling her that oh, since the first day i met her she is she very funny keeps the dead man face she's and she's and she <laughs> brilliant you have no idea oh what well, i do Right, Jenna, but I that was my thought. Well, yeah. you hit it right on it. See, and and we know yeah. funny. So we have quite a few movies. So we're gonna we have the Tinder movie, the holiday movie. Um yeah, and you want holiday because there I forgot holiday. the holiday is still showing. Yeah, but that's where they switch home. Oh, it's and about day. time. Yeah, about but time. then you want to watch holiday. That's yeah, yeah, but I wish you guys could go back to the old films and watch these two well, sometimes i'll watch both you know like if i know yeah. they have an old one yeah i wish but i guess i can't recommend where to find them yeah I, that's I, why I, we're just go on go on netflix suzanne see what's on there you might find something oh, the starling love. the starling, Star, the starling. yeah great but yes we've all seen that except uh stacy yeah but there are other people watching the show yeah. Yes, yeah, Stacy, you watch that. I'll watch it for fun. Did we pick it's a movie Melissa. to watch for our assignment? Well, it's not a typical Melissa McCarthy where you crack up all the yeah, time. Yeah, she it's a different role yeah. for her, but she's, yeah. she's good in it. How about how about we go with the Tinder movie? <laughs> and then the holiday the holiday is an option and also the starling. 
How about the okay? That's what I was gonna say. Do you want to just throw like one that we for sure want to watch, and then maybe a couple others if you have yeah. time? I think because Tinder. I mean, it's not good for me to watch two or three movies a week, but I just I, you I know I had my granddaughter. Yeah, well, I've got my own list of things I want to watch. So well, that's what I do. All right, find now. out what yeah. of the, of those things that are on Netflix, Suzanne, for next week. Bring a couple of them that are on Netflix that you suggest. Oh, okay. Because that's the platform we're using here because everybody well, that, has that Netflix. Recommended Starling, but. Right. And that's on Netflix. Netflix. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll watch that. Watch Whiskey Tangle Fox Try. It's, I'll it's, try it's to good. Watch. I'll try to remember that one, Stacey. I know. I know. It's hard. It's really and then, whiskey. And then I how about whiskey? Whiskey Tangle Fox Try. Okay. WTF. Yeah, well, hey. there was some early movie in the 70s with Tom Cruise as a bartender. The Starling I, movie is on Netflix, William, and it's with Tango, Tango something. Oh, where yeah. Cruise was a, he was some fancy bartender. It was the 70s or early 80s. Uh, I keep thinking a cocktail. That was cocktail. Yeah. That might have been cocktail. cocktail. Where he flipped the, and did the shaker and yeah. Yeah, he was like the four guys were doing that. I don't know why that just came to mind. Something about tango. The whiskey. <clears throat> the whiskey. Yeah, the whiskey. <laughs> so the movie that's on Netflix right now is called Starling. If you just, it's called The Starling on Netflix. It's really good, you guys. Yeah. And William's looking that up right now. It's just The Starling. The William. Starling. And then, but you think, ten, what's the one? Tinder Swindler? Tinder <laughs> Swindler. Tinder. Oh my God. That's not, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then next week i'll i'm gonna suggest about time we do next week everybody come with a time traveler movie next week oh that oh. sounds good uh, well there's been yeah. a, there's on one, netflix on netflix something about an astronaut there's been a few good ones yeah right. how about bill and ted's excellent adventure is it that right movie? that might not be on there though keanu Re that's like the worst movie ever Bill that's where he got he became a star he's yeah. such a nice guy he's done yeah. so many cool things but he's not a great actor i'm sorry he is a great actor he's, he was in he a time travel movie come to the bay area and he's bought people houses and he helps oh, everybody cool. that works on the films he does that's super cool, cool stuff that's cool yeah so i like it. yeah so let's see the, the the films again are tinder tinder swindler I'm going to put them all in this one Tinder swindler. <laughs> and then the next one is. Stop it, Casey. What's the second one? Holiday. The holiday. The holiday. Or maybe it's, I think it's the holiday. What is it? Yeah, well, I Let's see. Holiday. And. What's yeah, the not the holiday, but holiday. The like holiday going on and a date. The, the starling. Yes. How about a real downer? The day of wine and roses. Only if it's on Netflix. <laughs> Aunt well, William is our fact check or our Netflix check. Yes, like fact he's, checker. Yeah. Yeah, that's why these three Tinder Swindler. Oh, I put Twinder Swindler. <laughs> but you get it. Tinder Swindler, the holiday, and the starling. They're all on Netflix. Yes. Winsler, Sindler. And then if you want to back up that single all the way. And what you named. Oh, you said we'll talk about the time travel next week. Yeah. So come with the time travel on, on next, uh, next Netflix. I hate being told what to do. but I All right. Well, Suzanne, give me a letter. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to go now. Does anybody, real quick, does anybody watch like the animated, like Disney movies? Does anybody have the Disney? Don't have it, but I don't okay. have it. I will, real quick, for anybody who has Disney or you can find it anywhere, our granddaughter made Sorry. us all little homemade tickets and she, because she found my paper punch. And um, so she made Mike and I come into the living room. We're going to have movies. 
and she would punch our tickets. Oh, and I she, love that. she picked the movie and everything, and she so she told us where to sit in the living room. And um, but she put on Zootopia. Mm. Have anybody ever heard of that? I I will say at first I'm like, oh, that's when I scrolled past, and I'm kind of rolling my eyes. But it's my granddaughter, right? So we let her pick and. After the first few minutes, I'm like, I put my phone down. I quit looking at my phone and I was ah. into it. And you want to talk deep. This movie was Zootopia, I think is 2016. But as a cartoon, if you, if you think deep, it talks about what's going on in, the, in society now. Because she wants to be a, the bunny rabbit wants to be a cop in Zootopia. And, and there's like just struggles of her becoming you know because she's a rabbit you can't become you know and it's all about animals but the zootopia is our world today and i mean even the point they they had a poisonous flower that was making people go rabid and i'm like covid here we go you know and it just it really and we had to tell ava good good job honey that was a really good movie so yeah, if anybody's really just you know Zootopia. We get a snow day, Wednesday or Thursday, whatever. Zootopia is on Disney Channel. Cool. All so right. Well, I had to share that because I I was blown away. If if you're just watching it like a cartoon, you're not going to get it. But if you really really watch the movie, it's it's society today and everything we're going through. And this movie was from 2016. So there, there you go. <laughs> they All always right. say children are full of wisdom, right? They are. I'm going to run because I have to fill out a form before midnight in California that I didn't realize for I'm going to be part of this International Day of Body Music next Sunday. So I need to pick my spot. And it's there's technology that I don't understand. But thank you, ladies, for being here tonight. And I'm excited about next week. So we have our films and we're going to do time traveling next week. And Sounds Mike good. loves time travel movies, so this will be great. Cool. Anybody it was good seeing you guys. I wasn't even going to stay April. I hope, I, I hope we don't get 12 in. inches of snow tomorrow night. It said it was going to rain. Yeah. Just as long as nothing happens in the morning. I got to be in downtown Kalamazoo by 10 in the morning. Wow. I know. I don't know why I did that. Well, all you ladies, be careful. I, you know, I live on an island where there isn't a lot of snow, but I lived in Santa Fe, New Mexico for 20 years, and every winter we'd have quite a bit of snow. So I'm, yeah. Oh, well, we, we have our yak tracks. So, yeah, yak tracks. Yeah. We got yak tracks and um, a snowblower. Oh, I love yak tracks. Yeah. They're great. I got to put mine on tomorrow. I keep looking at them as I walk out the door. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I used to have them, but I never put them on. Cause and they're still in the box. I look at it and yeah. go, oh, I got to put them on my boots. Come on, Lily, let's go outside. As you I fall on the ice. Yeah, I have yak tracks. Yeah. Got yak tracks. Do you have yak tracks for April? No. I know what they are, but I don't have any. Well, I'm so point? happy that you're here, here April. Do what? I'm so happy that you're here. Well, thank you. Very <laughs> cool. And Lillian wears she here. rocks her little outfit every day with the hood, her, her little oh, collar up. And I found that little poop bag purse, the poo bag, I should say, poo bag. So it, it must have fell out of the bag in the car. So it's been riding around in my car. Oh, Grace says you're going to be okay, April, because the snow doesn't start till tomorrow night. Awesome. Good, good. good. So, okay. Well, right. I think I'll just, anybody have a letter for me? N. P N. for poo. I was going to say N. P for poo. Yeah, I like N. That's a oh, different one. N. Okwa own N. Nice. N. Make you think. I'm thinking of a, give me, an, naughty, give me a couple. Naughty and nice. Naughty, I know. It's not a lot. Nice. Naughty and nice. Never. 
I am never, ever, ever gonna forget this night. I love you all. This is so much fun out of sight. So everybody, everybody, it's not night no more. It's morning time, February 1st, not the 4th. So everybody have a real, a real good morning now. Oh, you got some movies to watch about Tinder. You got some movies to watch about some boys. You got some movies to watch about some birds. And maybe you'll find some toys. So stay safe, stay healthy, and be real nice. And everybody, everybody, come back once or twice. Yes, come back tomorrow, come back tomorrow night. Come back Wednesday when you see her on her snow blower. Yes, the yacht track will be in effect. Have fun in Kalamazoo and you out in Washington sail. Hello to the whales, hello to the boats, and everybody, I'm gonna say her right here. Think real, real nice thoughts and never nasty words. And from your heart, always, always be like RBG, notorious. Yes, that's the way to be. So everybody, a hug to the right. Come on, hug to the right. And now hug to the left. And everybody have a real, real good morning. Love hard. Real hard. Pretty hard. <laughs>